My recipe for success for any management training, joining a customer, or essentially the business at large, is generally just ask a lot of questions. So as we come into the business, especially as management trainees, I think we're very scared to ask questions. We're so scared that, you know, we might appear as if we don't know what's going on. But I tell you now, that is actually my superpower. I go in meetings, if I'm not sure about something, I have no problem raising my hand up, asking a question, taking notes down, which is very important in my place. So that when you get home or when you get your time, you start these things and actually see, do you actually understand what's going on? And if not, Go ask a question so that you can actually build relationships. So the key ingredients that I bring to the table as a management trainee, I think there's generally two key ingredients. I'll start with the first one. The first one is more of an analytical skills. So I come from a nice background of analyzing data, looking at data, scrutinizing data. So when I go in RCL, I was more of in a journey to try and see how can I understand the data systems that we use here at RCL Foods and then making sure that everything that we do so our data systems work efficiently and effectively. So that's definitely just analyzing data and then going forward with the data to try and build up a good story with that data. And then secondly, what I bring to the table as well is a lot of passion. So I'm the type of person that, you know, I bring myself to each and every task that I do. So again, it might be a small task, it might be a big task, but again, the passion for me and the commitment for me is always 100% and that's I think a very key ingredient that I use. Okay, so what advice would I actually give the new grads that want to come to our sales foods? I generally have two advice for you guys. The first one is just work on yourself now. I think each and every one of us, we all have a goal to actually be somewhere in five years time, 10 years time, but the key word to achieve that goal is to work on yourself now. So if you probably in varsity right now, go there, you actually work on your marks right now, work on your, your modules right now, work on your presentation skill. It's always key to learn a new soft skill, you know, be comfortable with communicating with different people. So again, the work actually starts now so that the future, your future is actually brighter. You have to build that solid foundation now. And then secondly, is just back yourself. You know, I think most of us always doubt ourselves, you know, we have these problems and we're so scared to step out and be ourselves in the big world. But my key advice is just back yourself. If you believe in yourself, you're halfway there, man. So one of the key projects that I've actually worked on being here at RCL Food as a management training is just working with our staff shops. So let me backtrack and tell you what our staff shops are. So in each and every one of our factories or plants, we have a staff shop. So this staff shop is the shop that actually sells the product to our employees, but also our external customers that actually come in. So my project was just joining these staff shops and actually, you know, through the time of COVID, these shops were closed or some of them were only open to the public, so get for, to the staff. So again, my job responsibility there was just to make sure that the integration from moving and opening them up is more of a smooth transaction. And most importantly, making sure that we are educating our customers about the exciting products that we have here at RCL Foods and just making sure that when they come in, one, they feel welcome, but two, most importantly, they know exactly what to look for, where it is. So again, my task there was to just make sure that that transition works smoothly and yeah, it's been a success so far. I'm actually based, I'm actually the lucky ones that are based here at Wizzle Head Office. So I get to see this beautiful office each and every single day. And I've been here for 17 months now. I joined in the year 2021, so I'm part of the grad of 2021. And yeah, so I've actually not rotated, but I have been promoted. So as of the 1st of July, I've actually started a new position as a business inside analyst. And again, it's more working with our staff shops, just uh, making sure the daily operations of the staff shops are run perfectly smooth and everything is working in line there. Again, dealing with your customers one-on-one, -on -one, you get to traveling to see these staff shops, seeing how the operation is done and just making sure that all our interesting, innovative, new products are at store, are at shop for our customers to actually come and purchase them. When I came into RCL Foods, I think there were a few misconceptions that I had or preconceptions that I had about corporates. I think the first one, well, I'll just combine the two, right? So it was like everyone in corporate was always mean and always in a rush, rushing someone off to the next meeting, off to the next meeting, you know, with a briefcase, with a straight face, not even smiling, and that these people did not like to sit down and have a cup of coffee or even a hot chocolate. So that was my misconception. But as I joined RCL Foods, it was complete opposite. I came in, everyone is actually smiling, you know, people are just friendly. You can generally just walk into anyone's desk or office and you can just get chatting to them and get to know them better. And that was an interesting thing. And the one thing which I can tell you now is here at RCL Foods, we love our coffee, we love our hot chocolates. So it was a misconception that was completely wrong. We generally do like to have more fun.
Some of the key challenges that I faced as a managing trainer coming in here was, I think in my mind and growing up as well, hierarchy was a very big thing for me. It was something that was ingrained in me from a very young age, whether it be from school or wherever, but hierarchy was something that was very you know, prevalent in my life. So I think coming in here, and actually seeing you reporting to an exec or working with you know maybe a director or a manager you know a lot of those things you're so scared to break out of your shell or to ask questions purely because you just think i'm too small to be actually asking this person these questions but that was sort of a challenge that i faced and how i overcame that is i actually went to my line manager who's an exec and i was like boss i'm actually scared to to ask questions sometimes i'm so shy to speak up in meetings you know and what they did was you know it broke it down for me chat to me you know we actually had a meeting with the team to actually discuss this for me but i think the key thing which ourself Foods did for me is we went to counseling you know to try and break down these barriers that i had from a young age you know so i think the really counseling helped you know speaking to my counselor and breaking out more and i think that allowed me to be myself to actually bring q to the table and actually make a statement that i am here so some of the highlights of my career so far and i know it, we, we this is a fun one for me right so the key highlights for my career have been the traveling yes we've done a lot of work yes i've learned a lot of things in this program i've actually got to meet so many people but i think the traveling that we've done has been fantastic right so i've been exposed as i've said i've worked with the staff shop so i've been exposed to all of the staff shops that we have here in south africa which is all around so i've traveled there met different people as well as seen different buyers so you get to visit places like cape town you know nail sprays and then Joburg, for example, and these are just a few places which I've visited. And I think for me, it was more of the experience that happened and the learnings that happened through these traveling. You know, I think even team trips that we've had as a team, we'd go out uh, for a vacation just to all bond as a team and do some self-development and self-growing. So I think that was a key thing for me and I've genuinely enjoyed every bit of it. The more behavior that resonates with me the most is more you. Like, honestly, I'm as authentic as one can be. I bring myself to the table. This is who I am. I've actually realized that in this world, everyone is just trying to be someone else. And, and I've also looked at it and I was like, the best impact that I can have on this world is to bring me to the table, is to bring Q, bring Emiso to the table, which is what I've done. And yeah, I think so more you really, really resonates with me.